Okay, everybody, so I'm about ready to get everything painted. Um, I did a little pre shading. Uh, it's kind of crude, but we'll see what happens. Um, I painted the insides of the wheel wells white and I just mask those off with uh, some poster tack, just stuff it in there. And I've also got the parts that are going to be painted the gray uh, ready to go as well. These are the part of the landing gear doors and I painted the insides white. The outsides are going to be gray. And so I've masked those off. And there's some more there. Here's the front front landing gear doors. And again I painted them white on the inside and then they're the outside's going to be gray. Uh, there's some other okay, landing gear doors. And also have the uh, drop tanks. Uh, the undersides are going to be the gray color. And uh, get those, have those ready too. Uh, the color I'm going to use is it's uh, Model Air 71.296. This is a uh, USAAF light gray. The FS number is 36622. Uh, this corresponds to what what was called camouflage gray, um, also known as uh, Curtis gray as well. So I'm going to get that on the bottom and uh, mask that off and we'll do the top, top side camo.
so here's where I'm at. I got all the decals on, and uh, they went down pretty good. Uh, they're Academy decals, and uh, those of you who built Academy kits, you know what I mean if they're not the cartograph decals that they're including on a lot of their newer jets and stuff. Um, so they can be a little thick and not stick very well, but these did pretty well. Um, and uh, I used uh, Solvacet, <clears throat> which is a little bit stronger than uh, Microsol, and uh, it helped help the decals go down pretty well. Um, I can't get over how tiny this thing is. <laughs> and it actually kind of sapped my mojo a little bit because uh, it's just so tiny and when I painted the camo I did it freehand but I was getting uh, some overspray and so I had to actually go back and touch up some areas and then uh, and using some uh, uh, poster tack for masks and then feather some edges in so uh, it's kind of one of the perils of having a tiny little model <laughs> but what I've done since I put the decals on is I went ahead and installed the uh, landing gear just so I can have it sitting up and I gave it one more gloss coat of uh, Model Masters Acro gloss and that's just to seal the decals down and uh, and protect them from the wash I'm going to put on so I'm going to do a little bit of weathering and uh, use some uh, clay base washes and some other stuff that I have to uh, highlight the panel panel lines. There's also several little antennas that go on the top and on the bottom and I'm gonna hold off on those until uh, it's all done and uh, then put those on as one of the last things. I also I snapped off the refueling probe and so uh, I've got a just take a little pen vise and kind of drill that out a little bit and then, then reattach it. So watch out for that. Another thing to watch out for too is um, make sure that you don't put this pylon on because as you see there's a round rail that goes there. I like to put the pylons on especially if they're going to be the same color as the bottom because I think it just makes them a little bit stronger uh, to glue them on bare plastic and uh, I had to ca I caught myself because I actually put them all on and then I realized oh I gotta leave room for the roundel there on that wing and so I was able it, it didn't it wasn't on very long so I was able to just to pull it off and then uh, so I got the decal on and reattached it and uh, yeah so I'm pretty happy with it, it it's uh, you know it, it's it's tiny I get that <laughs> but It'll look good once it's all done. Um, all right, so I'm going to do a little bit of uh, weathering and do the final assembly. Okay. Okay, for the wash, I want to do is I'm going to mix a little bit of the Flory Models Black and Dark Dirt. This is a clay based wash, so.
to try my hand at stretching sprue to make a uh, whip antenna. And I've never done this before. So as you can see, it's going to take me a few tries to get it right. Okay, everybody, so I've uh, taken the mask off the canopy and put all the ordnance on, and I'm going to call it good. So here she is. Here's the uh, Academy 172nd scale A37B Dragonfly. And this was the uh, Cessna, primarily used for uh, ground support. And so they often carried a lot of rockets and, and, and some bombs on there. So it's a fun little kit. It gives you, uh, you know, again, it gives you different things. You can, you know, different weapons and drop tanks that you can put underneath it. And it has a lot of good little detail. I left the canopy closed only because I just didn't want to, you know, break it off when I move it or, you know, transport it to my office or something like that. Um, but the thing is, it, there's a lot of uh, a lot of glass here, and you can see in there really well. And so, if anybody wants to look inside, and they can see the ejection seats with the seat belts I made, you can see the uh, the instrument panel really well. So, um, yeah. So, but it does give an option. You can post it, you know, pose it open. Um, but otherwise, I think it went together pretty well. I really enjoyed it. It just took me a while to build it this time. I it's just been kind of slowing down on modeling on this uh, for a little while, and I don't want to really say I lost my mojo. It just uh, you know other things being busy and stuff like that. So yeah, but I'm eager to get going on a new, on another kit. So there you go. And just a reminder: if you're going to build the kit, make sure you put weight in the nose because if you don't it's going to sit back on its tail so as you can see i was able to put enough in there so she sits just fine i'm happy about my whip antenna uh, it came out pretty well it's the first time i ever stretched sprue so uh, so i got that glued on and uh, it's kind of unique to this airplane that a pretty big whip antenna coming out of the back and uh, I think there was another one back here too, but, um, but there she is. 
So a lot of fun. So again, recommended. It is small, but that's what you expect from a 172 kit and this being a Cessna that used to be a trainer. Then it was repurposed to do uh, close air ground support. So in Vietnam. So I'm sure you'll have fun with it if you decide to build it. So there we go. Well, guys, I appreciate everybody watching and um, tune in for my next uh, build series. I've got a couple models here. I got to decide which one I want to build first, but uh, I'll get going on that. And again, just appreciate you subscribing and watching my videos. I uh, really appreciate it. But anyway, guys, take care and happy modeling. And we'll see you on the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.